Oh, there it goes. Hey everybody, welcome back to Zach Tech Reviews. On this channel we look at tech, mobile accessories and gadgets. And as you guys saw there with the intro, this channel just hit over a thousand subscribers. So if you've ever watched, commented, subscribed, liked one of my videos, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. Let's keep on moving forward. Anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of celebrate the milestone by looking back at some of the older phones that I have owned. This is obviously not my complete collection, but some of the ones I decided to pick out. I did try charging these up over the last few weeks and none of them will take a charge. They'll barely turn on for about 10 seconds and then they just power off. So we can go through and look at the phones, but unfortunately I can't power them on. So if you're as old as I am, <laughs> and we're not gonna reveal an age today yet, uh, you will remember you know, your classic flip phones. Here are some of the models that I used to have. Let's start over right here. This is probably one of the older flip phones I have. This is the LG 4600. It came out in January of 2004. You can see on the front here that the carrier that I'm with, or I was with up here in Canada, TELUS put their branding on the front of the phone here. On the back, basically pop this off. The back was the battery right here. And basically you would give the ID inside here and connect to the network. The antenna was stationary would flip open, had a color display, and of course you had a color output on here. And again, just kind of your classic flip phone there. December of 2005, this is the LG 200. Again, a classic flip phone, ID on the outside here. This one's a little bit different, you pop open, there was a separate battery that went on inside here. And away you go, again, you got your power up and down. You got a, uh, looks, like, looks like we have a, a camera button here. I think this is your power button. And of course down here, this is your this was your charging port right here. There we go. Right here we have the Samsung SCH A870. So a, a, a big mouthful right there. Uh, again, classic flip phone. Flip this open here. Again, you have the battery that goes inside. Got your volume rocker keys. And it looks like we actually had a headphone jack. Look at that headphone jack right there. Pop that, pop your headphones in there and away you go. Again, we had an outside display here. And that was probably one of my very first Samsung mobile phones right there. Moving on, this is the LG Shine, or also known as the LG 8700. It was released in April of 2007, and this by far was my most favorite flip phone of any flip phone ever owned, and that's just because I love the design and the look. It was very futuristic looking. I mean, look at the keys, this nice chrome look and everything. It all lit up all white inside. Look really nice, nice big screen. Again, you had information on the outside here. You got your camera. On this side here, you got your camera button, volume rocker up and down. On this side, power button down here. And push this little button here. Back came off, battery went inside there. And yeah, just extremely well built. And I really liked the look and feel of this one. I don't believe there was a headphone jack on this one either. But uh, that's how they were back in the day. Oh, right, actually right here, if you flip this open, yes, you could actually connect your headphone jack right there and also your power. That's how you would power it up. You plug it right there. This one right here is near and dear to my heart. This was my very first BlackBerry. In fact, the only BlackBerry device I ever owned. This is the BlackBerry Tour, also known as the BlackBerry 9630. It came out in July of 2009. It had this really funny, uh, I guess you call it scroll wheel right here. And I remember if you didn't clean this out or try to run uh, you know, paper through here or string or whatever, this would get full of gunk and everything and not work. Blackberry keys right here. Again, end call, begin call. Classic Blackberry keyboard on the back here. This would pop off. You would put your SIM card. Oh, look at that. There's actually Okay, I'm actually gonna have to check out and see if there's anything on this micro SD card. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. But uh, again, buttons on the side, headphone jack, and yeah, that was my first and only BlackBerry device. And that leads us here to our last device. This was my very first Android device. This is the HTC Desire HD. It came out in October of 2010. And you can see we had the capacitive keys on here home, menu, back, a search key. You couldn't obviously rearrange these. 
I really wish I could power this up and show you guys what it looks like nowadays, but unfortunately I can't get any power going to it. We got a headphone jack here. Looks like micro USB plug in here. And all other buttons, volume up and down are on here. Again, you got this camera right here, flash. And I know that, uh, yeah, the micro SD card and your SIM card does go in the bottom here. And the battery does go in the side here, but I had a little difficult trying to get it open here earlier, so I just left it closed. But again, I can't get the power up, unfortunately. But that was my very first BlackBerry. You can even see on here, we got Google branding with HTC Sense, SRS, Wow HD, and Dolby Mobile. Wow, look at that. And there we go, guys. There are some of the very first flip phones and smartphones that I used to own. Let me know down in the comments section here. Have you ever owned any of these devices? Were they under a different name, maybe in the country you live? Or also let me know what were some of your very first devices, if you know what the model numbers or whatnot. And let's have a conversation. I think it's kind of cool to look back at some of these older, older vintage retro devices. Anyway, if you guys like the content here, please leave a thumbs up. It would be appreciated. Think about hitting that subscribe button as well, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Cheers.